Meet the stars. Tell me who! Where are you? Those creatures are taking over the world? That is so mean. That was weird. <laughs> Did somebody spike your dog bone? Why do you think Scooby-Doo is so popular? I think the popularity lies in the fact that Scooby and Shaggy are unlikely heroes. They're both cowards. It's a kid's first look at storytelling, mysteries, and, um, and, and I think that that's why it does so well, because kids love that stuff. It offered so much more than every other cartoon. It was so ahead of its time. It had a story. They, they, they worked hard to figure it out, and it wasn't gender specific, it wasn't a boys cartoon or a girls cartoon or any of those things. It was a talking dog, you know what I mean? That was, there wasn't anything cooler than that. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Grow on! <laughs> there you go. Grow, no, right you. I need to know. Okay. What does a Scooby snack taste like? Scooby snack actually kind of tastes like cardboard. <laughs> Early on they said, what do you want in a Scooby snack? And I said, well, I just, because I eat them so much, I wanted them somewhat healthy. And um, they made them like oats and grains and it's not very good. It tastes like wet cardboard. Yum. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that delicious? <laughs> Wouldn't you just like to eat 30 of those every day? Oh, jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have whatever he's having. Velma. The smart one. <laughs> Scooby Doo! I think she's interesting. I think she's smart, she's independent, she's very capable. But as you see in the movie, that you don't really get to see in the cartoons, she's very sensitive. I think she's had a lot of things sort of bottled up and repressed, and you get to see a little bit more into her. Fred, you had best get your smack on, smack off. You know what I'm saying, G? In the cartoon, he would always just show shades of arrogance and, and just a touch of ego. And so as an actor, you see that as a huge opportunity to just make him as narcissistic as humanly possible. Daphne. Now who's the damsel in distress? I think as an actor, it's important to always do different things and to surprise people and to give them exactly what they don't expect. Shaggy. What are you doing, man? When it came to the voice and it came to the walk, I just spent a lot of time with the cartoon. I kept watching it. I spent a lot of time. I worked with acting coaches for the first two weeks before we even went to rehearsal. Hey, where's Scooby? <laughs> You got to be kidding. How was the orange sweater and the thick glasses? I loved the fact that she had her turtleneck on every day. It was fun. I'd come to set, put on my costume, it was my uniform, and then I went to work. Fred, you're the big banana. How was the blonde hair? I could have done without that. I probably should have gone with a wig, but uh, I didn't think that would work well, and so I went with it, and it looks great. I've transformed my body into a dangerous weapon. What did you think of the costume? The skirt was rather short. It was very tough, specifically in anything that required any sort of stunt work, because there was no place for me to ever put any padding whatsoever. I literally could pad my big toe, and that was about it. Let's get jinky with it. Scooby-Doo. There's something in it for, for everybody. Scooby-Doo! 